Hello guys and I would like to welcome everybody in today's video after a short period of time. Today we will be discussing the poem Rain on the Roof. Okay, so let's get started. When the sky is covered with dark clouds and it starts raining, have you ever listened to the patter of soft rain on the roof? In the very first line, you are being asked a question that have you ever seen the color of the sky, the nature of the sky when it is about to rain, when the sky is covered with dark clouds and it starts raining. Okay, moving forward. What thoughts flashed through your mind as you heard this melody of nature? Melody means sweet music. What thoughts flashed through your minds? What thoughts came right away into your minds as you heard this melody of nature? Okay, the meaning is very clear. Read the poem to find out what the poet dreamed of while listening to the rain. While reading the poem, you have to just weave your dreams. You have to go back to your dreams when you might be witnessing the sight of raining. Okay? Okay. Now, let's discuss the poem in detail. The first thing which sudden must be discussed while discussing a poem is its rhyming scheme. So, let's find out what is the rhyming scheme of the poem. In order to fetch the rhyming scheme of a poem, we should and must be looking at the last words of each and every lines of a stanza. So, if you will notice here, over. This is the last word of the first line. Spheres. Darkness. Tears. Pillow. Bed. Patter. Overhead. These are the last words of each and every line of the first stanza. You will notice here that Mrs. Hover is not matching or not rhyming with any of them. But Spheres is just having a match with tears. Do you see here? Spheres, tears. Okay. Spheres is just getting matched with tears. Likewise, this. Bed is also rhyming with overhead. Bed is rhyming with overhead. So, the rhyming scheme of the poem will be what? A, B, C, B. Okay. D, E, F, E. So, the rhyming scheme of the poem will be what? It will be A, B, C, B, D, E, F, E. Okay. Because these words, spare is matching with tears and this bed is matching with overhead. So the rhyming scheme of the poem is what? It is A, B, C, B, D, E, F, E. Okay. Now let's discuss the poem in detail. When the humid shadows hover over all the starry spheres and the melancholy darkness gently weeps in rainy tears, what a bliss to press the pillow of a cottage chamber bed and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead. Now let's pay attention to some of the poetic devices which have been used here in the very first stanza. You can see here, humid hover, okay, starry spheres, okay. So these are alliteration. If you will notice here, the first sound of each and every words are just matching. So the repetition of consonant sounds, this starry and space both start with a consonant sound and the repetition of a consonant sound is called alliteration. So it, they are showing alliteration. Okay. Now let's know the literal meaning of the first stanza. When the humid shadows hover over, okay, hover over is a phrasal verb. When the humid shadows hover over all the starry space, starry space means starry space means sky, and the melancholy darkness, melancholy means sad. In the very first stanza, it is being said that when the humid humid shadows hover over, when the humid shadows, humid shadows means humid shadows means clouds, when the clouds which are humid. You might be knowing that clouds are humid. They contain some moisture. When they go through some condensation, it rains. 
so when the humid shadows when clouds hover over the starry spheres when clouds hover over hover over means they move around the sky when the clouds move above the sky and the melancholy darkness and the sad darkness gently weeps gently weeps means when somebody weeps his or her tears are seen so likewise it looks like somebody is weeping when it rains whenever the clouds hover over the sky and sad darkness gently weeps it looks like raining and then at that very time what a bliss to press bliss means what a joy what a joy to press the pillow of a cottage chamber bed it feels very great to grab a cottage chamber bed and a pillow and lie listening to the patter patter is called the sound of rain okay and what a bliss it is what a joy it is to listen to that pattering sound of soft rain which is just being sprinkled over our head or simply when it rains okay so this is the first stanza and these are the things every tinkle on the shingles has an echo in the heart and a thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start and a thousand relocations weave their air threads into oof as i listen to the patter of the rain upon the roof okay now let's discuss the meaning of second stanza every tinkle on the shingles tinkle means pattering sound of rain okay so every pattering sound on the shingles shingles means the cardboards or the square shaped tiles which cover the roof so whenever pattering sound of rain is heard or whenever rain falls right on to the shingles shingles means the roofs it has it produces an echo in the heart whenever we hear the tinkling sound of the rain falling down right onto the shingles of our roofs it produces it makes an echo and reflection in our heart and a thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start and as we just hear to that sound we start dreaming about fancies we start weaving very many dreams in our mind and at that very time a thousand recollections recollections means memories and a thousand recollections weave their air threads into oof. you can notice here as well that some alliteration have been used here okay rain roof oof weave okay these are alliterations and a thousand recollections weave their air threads into oof. so whenever we just hear the pattering sounds of the rain it produces an echo in our heart and having heard that echo our mind and heart starts weaving very many fancies very many dreams okay and in those dreams we can go through very many mem sweet memories that we already have we can just dream about our thousand memories as i listen to the patter on the rain upon the roof in this stanza actually the poet says that whenever one hears the pattering sound of the rain falling on the roof it can make you dream it can lead you to your very many recollections recollections means memories okay now going forward third and the last stanza now in memory comes my mother as she used in years agone to regard the darling dreamers uh she left them till the dawn Oh, I feel her fond look on me as I list to this refrain which is played upon the shingles by the patter of the rain. Okay, now let's discuss this stanza. So, the poet tells that when he hears the pattering sound of the rain, he remembers his mother. Okay, now in memory comes my mother. So, in his memory, in his recollection, he remembers his mother as she used in years ago. as she used to do in years ago ago means back actually the poet is just remembering his mother who used to do all these things in the years back to regard the darling dreamers us this is a word which is used in poems and it is generally used for before okay a uh, 
she left them till the dawn dawn you know dawn is the time when there is neither sunset nor morning now in memory comes my mother as she used in years ago on to regard the darling dreamers as she left them till the dawn oh i feel her fond look on me as i list to this refrain which is played upon the shingles by the patter of this rain okay the poet tells that when he hears this patter of the rain he is besieged by all the recollections of his mother as she used to regard the da- darling dreamers she didn't wake them up because she knew that the children who are just sleeping they are going through some sweet dreams they are weaving their futures they are going through a very good dreams so she used to leave them till the dawn the poet tells that oh i feel her fond look on me he could feel the look of his mother right on to him first of all list is what list is shortened form of listen and refrain is what refrain is uh, two or three lines in in a song or a poem or a rhyme as well which is just repeated okay so the repetitive lines of a poem song are called refrain so as i listen to this refrain which is played upon the singles by the patter of the rain the poet tells that whenever he hears the pattering sound of rain which produces a very good melody so whenever he listens to this melody he is actually besieged by the memories of his mother who used to regard the darling dreamers darling dreamers means children who used to pay some respect to the children sleeping till the dawn okay so this is what we have got in this poem thank you very much for joining me here see you in the next video thank you